919. This here's Dead Red calling the November Cowboys. You reading me out there, Caballeros? You all recovered from that big old Colorado welcome the Dorseys gave you? Ha! Ain't you nosy. Switch over to 27.065 megahertz. All will be revealed. Howdy, Rangers. Sorry about the clowning. Have to keep a low profile these days. This is your old pal Angie, otherwise known as Ranger Colonel Angela Death. Ha! Somebody remembers me. What do you know? Figured my name would be stricken from the record after me and my crew pulled our vanishing act. Wasn't our intent when Command sent us out here to reconnoiter, but well, things took an unexpected turn. <sighs> I'll bet. We came out here for the same reason as you, because Command was hoping they could make an alliance with the Patriarch and get some, uh, foreign aid. Trouble was, the more we snooped around, the more we realized that good old Pappy Buchanan was a bloody-handed dictator that the Rangers shouldn't have nothing to do with. <sighs> Unfortunately, Command didn't want to hear it. Told us they were going to make the deal anyway. Too desperate to be particular. We took a vote, the squad and me, and decided that just wasn't the Ranger way. Instead, we made a pact to take Buchanan down and help Colorado become the home of freedom that Arizona could have been if the Rangers hadn't lost the Citadel to Matthias. Heaven, darling. The Archangel Gabriel's just bringing me another pina colada. Why do you think? We want you on our side, but not without seeing for yourself that Buchanan's a conniving shitbag. That's why I was calling. There's a man you should talk to, locked up in an old bunker in Broadmoor Heights and guarded by mercs. So you may have to do a little shooting to get to him. But when you do, ask him about his beefs with the Patriarch. It'll open your eyes. His name is Ironclad Cordite, a warlord of the Eastern Plains, and one goddamn tough son of a bitch. As to how you find him, I'm a little shaky on the details, but I'm told there's a hidden hatch on some monument at Buchanan Park in Broadmoor Heights. And listen, when you do find him, bust him out of there and do what you can to keep him alive. He could help you with liberty later. Also, if you need more firepower, he's got a shotgun for a left arm. Gracias, compadres, and good luck. I'll be in touch. Dead red, over and out. Rangers uncovered human smuggling conspiracy! Subversive leader arrested! Would you rather... You're a barrel of monkeys, huh? Come on, answer the question. All right, all right. Dawn faster. November, this is Ranger HQ. I have good news. There's some new gear here next time you stop by. It's a big improvement over the basic stuff we had before. But one last thing. The Patriarch commissioned a sculptor to make a statue of Vargas outside our HQ. He's nearly done, but he'd like to know who we want to dedicate this statue to. Good call, November. Making sure the Rangers know they'll be remembered if the worst comes to pass may boost camaraderie. I'll pass it along. Over and out. Hola, Rangers. Ah, I'm Austin. I'm new. Welcome aboard. Where are you from? Oh, Around. Guys, over yeah. here! Me too. We, we all are here. <sighs> Fucking givers. 
How do they have our oil buried under their land? You know, if Daisy would just let us off our chain for once, it... Man, I never thought I'd be in a position to thank outsiders for saving my life, but here we are. I don't know what Brigo intended, but, well, I'm guessing you saved me a lot of pain, so thanks. Anyway, Sheriff Daisy asked me to set up an armory for you, get you situated, so I'll get started on that. Want to see what I've got so far? It's fine. Can't complain. After what you did for me, it's a pleasure. Never been happier to follow an order. Happy to. Take a look.
over here. Hope Steel Town sorts itself out. If it falls apart, hey, so does the rest of the Who's in charge in here? You're the CO around here? Huh. <laughs> okay. Quality setup this time. Better than back in AZ. Guess Daddy Buchanan's buying you all the good gear. I helped the Rangers during their whole Cochise debacle. They might have come out strong if they'd listened to me. Too bad. Gary Wolf, freelance security consultant and synth hunter. Got a proposition for you. After the Rangers nuked Cochise and themselves, I figured somebody competent had to chase down its mechanical brood. So I recruited folks who'd lost family to synths, and I formed a posse. Decommissioned a dozen of the plastic punks in AZ. Then heard a feud headed east and followed them here. Now I'm getting flack from that tin star twat Daisy for exchanging fire with the synth we tracked to Colorado Springs. That's where you come in. Interfering bitch told the marshals to shoot us on sight if we stepped inside the city limits again so we can't go after this October 11 synth. Was hoping you might be interested in taking care of it for us. Cash bounty for its head. Are you kidding me? Cochise is the Ranger's greatest enemy, a supercomputer that almost exterminated them twice and which built an army of synths to kill every last human on Earth. Rangers aren't training their recruits at all these days, are they? Yeah, no idea why. Synths are weird that way. It and another synth called Tourmaline caged some sieves on their way here, just for kicks. So watch yourselves. Eleven is a stone killer. Gotta be neutralized before it kills again. And killing it will help us find its comrades. All synths got a radio in their heads. Let's them communicate long distance and triangulate on each other. Once I crack Eleven's head open, I'll hack it for their locations. You wanna go after the others too? I'll make it worth your time. We cornered Eleven downtown and tried to take it out quietly, but there was a snafu and we had to open fire, shot up the street, wounded some sieves. Silly bitch wouldn't listen when I warned her about the synth, acted like we were the problem and sent us packing. Fuck her. Hey now, that's my ex-boss you're talking about, Hoss. Lucky you quit then. She's a frag candidate for sure. Jesus, you're not one of those, are you? Fucking simps are always talking about how synths are sentient. They have feelings. Bullshit. That's how they trick you. Synths are just top-grade robots. What makes them dangerous is that every one of them has a little piece of Cochise in their electric brain, like a virus. And if you leave them alone for too long, that virus spreads. And pretty soon we have the goddamn robot apocalypse all over again. Not on my watch. We cap them as soon as we see them. Don't give them a chance to talk. <laughs> Add it to your list? Ought to be your top priority. Whatever. We'll wait here until you bring back its head. Should still be downtown somewhere. You'll know you're near it when you start hearing weird static on your radio. Squad, at ease. Got some business for you, if you have the cojones. Team 
November, this is Ranger HQ. A couple vehicles rolled up and set up right outside our base. Real shady characters. Their leader is a woman named La Perla, who claims to have business with the Rangers, but won't specify what it is to us. Ring any bells? Figured. We'll keep them outside the base for you to deal with in good time. Over and out. Would you rather freeze to death or burn? You're a barrel of monkeys, huh? Come on. It's nice to see the city back to life, huh? Yeah, people are shopping. What do you need, Rangers? Why? Want me to say it should be you? Spoken like a good soldier. Didn't mean to put you on the spot. Okay, maybe I did. I like you, Rangers, but a girl needs to be sure before she commits, if you know what I mean. We ain't quite there yet. What's on your mind? Damn right I did. Crazy bastard was firing live rounds in the middle of the street. Put some bullet holes in the side of the museum. He tells me he's hunting some kind of fancy robot, and he demands that I stay out of his way. <laughs> Bet you can guess how that went over. Nobody shoots up these streets. Not without my say-so, anyway. Roger that. Celebrates as refugees slow to a trickle. Did you just give me a hickey? Maybe I'll join the marshals. I do like to rough people up. You get drummed out in a second, you crackpot. This is all Joe's fault. Hey, did you ask your wife about your uh, concerns about her? I don't want to. trip we ever had is Buchanan yeah this whole place is a gloss but who wants to hear all the ugly details
What did you do to me? L let me go! Tourmaline... Tourmaline says we shouldn't talk to humans, but... But I don't want to die. What do you want? I don't even know much about me. I haven't been alive for long. It's... it's the first thing I said. That's what Tourmaline told me. I woke up and I said it. October 11. I know it's important because it's always in my head, but I can't remember why. Tourmaline says I was made to trick humans, but I got put in the wrong body. I should be in a little body. Then no one could guess what I was. I could be safe. Another synth, I think. I don't remember. The first thing I remember is waking up with Tourmaline in a house. We were hiding. Tourmaline says we were together for a while before that, but that's as far back as I know. My name's October 11. I'm from Arizona. At least, that's where we started. Okay. We fled across the mountains from Arizona. It was just Tourmaline and me, but we picked up signals from... from others like us. We thought maybe we'd find a safe place. My protector. Another synth like me. We got separated and I'm on my own now. Tourmaline called it preemptively defending ourselves. All humans want to kill synths, so we've got to kill them first. It's a matter of survival. I don't want to be turned off. Some human hunters came for us and we ran. There was a fight and I... I lost Tourmaline. I couldn't go back. They were chasing me. So I hid here. Okay. All I want to do is get out of here and find some place better to hide. Somewhere far away from this city. Will you let me go? If they find me, I'll have to kill them. If humans know where I am, they'll hunt me down and turn me off. I won't! You'll kill him if I do! Anyway, I'm not really sure where he went. announces unconditional support of Rangers, declares them heroes of Colorado. Got some business for you. If you have the whole Find that synth in Colorado Springs yet?
No muss, no fuss. How about that? All right, then. Here's the cash, as promised. Now, uh, one more thing. I was kind of afraid you'd be as pussy as the AZ Rangers, but looks like you're serious. So I've got another proposal for you. We need a base of operations for our synth hunt, and it looks like you've got plenty of space. What do you say? Can we set up shop here? Ranger squad I ran with an AZ was a chicken outfit. Failed to utilize me properly. Paid the price for it. But you did okay here, so I'm giving you a chance. Great. We'll find a corner and keep out of the way. And just to make the deal sweeter, how'd you like to pick up a few more bounties? Like I told you, synths communicate with each other long distance. That means when I hack October 11's head, I'll be able to find its friends. Unfortunately, we're still on the trail of a pack of eastbound synths right now, so we can't stop and hunt for these. But it's gotta be done, so I'll pay you to do it. Cash for each head. You want the... Great. Now, let me just crack this egg. You see that light in the center? That's our current location. Actually, October 11's head. Those other lights around the middle one? Those are the other synths. Hmm. A lot of interference. Maybe near a radio tower. Maybe two. Lots of other smaller EM signals, too. Probably got a whole bunch of robots around to protect it. There's some wobble in the location signal, which means it's bouncing off the mountains from the foothills. That flickering means there's interference, so it's probably underground. Maybe it's coming from some kind of bunker or mine, or maybe a nuclear silo inside a dormant volcano, <laughs> like some kind of supervillain. Signal's imprecise, bouncing around, maybe in the mountains. Great. The sooner you end them, the sooner you get paid. <laughs>